Yo, what's going on, my amigos and amigas? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you're doing great on this fine Thursday. I don't really use Reddit that much, but one of my favorite subreddits has to be r slash I'm the main character. That is where we find peak humanity. This is where we find where humanity is heading in the next 50 to 65 years. Because in my opinion, this subreddit captures pretty much everything that's wrong with TikTok and the internet overall. These people are more self-centered and more in love with themselves than any other YouTuber out there. Let's just jump into the first video. Taking an aesthetic video Video in London Underground be like I mean, she really thinks she did something? Okay, we get it. You're hot. I'm amazing. Good for you. Your mom and dad. Great jeans. I'm glad your dad nutted inside of your mama. But the faces this girl makes when people dare just have the audacity to walk by at the train station is really what pisses me off. Imagine getting mad at the fact that there's people in this public space who are waiting for the train and you're like, how dare you, sir? How dare you, ma'am? Don't you see that I'm making an amazing TikTok out here and you're just walking by? How disrespectful this is, actually. If you're going to film in public, that's great and all. Just don't bother people and don't be upset when people walk by. I don't know. I just hate influencers and I hate the word influencers. Never been a big fan of this whole I'm the main character type shit and I'm the center of the intention and everyone loves me. I hate YouTubers and I hate TikTokers and I hate Instagrammers and I hate anyone who acts like this it's just really cringe like, oh how dare he pass by that stupid man you didn't let me film my aesthetically pleasing videos how dare y'all I mean, I am truly heartbroken here. I hope she can recover from this. Um, truly stunning and brave for her to film herself out here. My prayers are with her and the praying emojis are with her as well. Excuse me, but the fact that she still went ahead and made such a badass video is really empowering to me. And I found this comment, did a bit of digging using the trains behind her. And it looks like she's at Oxford Circus on the southbound Victoria Lane. You know, one of the busiest places in London. There are so many quiet stations you could have filmed at as well. I mean, if that's true, absolutely. Why do you have to go to the fucking busiest? That's like going to Mexico City and filming right in the fucking center of Mexico City. Have you seen how busy it gets? Or New York. These people are something else. They're like a whole different breed. <laughs> These fucking main character people are the worst. But let's just continue. This is our next one. And this is definitely one of the Instagram reels of all time. Why do all the people who make these videos, why is it always in the fucking train or near a train? Why do people like this always pick the train? It happened to the girl with the guitar who was singing no cap, I'm a little drunk and whatever, I might hurt myself or whatever that song was. Why do they take innocent people prisoners and make them sit through their horrible TikToks? And I know there's some guy just praying to God if he helps this girl film this TikTok, he's gonna get laid. Yes, I'm gonna help her record this. I'm gonna get laid right fucking now. Nope, cap, you're not. You're being used and she's not gonna fuck you. I'm feeling so much secondhand embarrassment right now. It's crazy. I legitimately couldn't be in the room with any of these people for more than a minute. I would be so fucking annoyed and it will make everything about themselves. So actually the last TikTok that I got only got 10 million views compared to the other one that got 15 million views. So I think I've fallen off. Like, um, yeah, like shut the fuck up, bitch. Now this is called main character blocks the streets of a foreign country. Alright. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I was just staring at her the whole time. Just look at her. She's just trying to walk by. She's like 65. She just wants to get her fucking vegetables and apples. Look right here. Look right here. All right. Look at this woman. Go. She's so confused. <laughs> It's 
it's not as bad as the other ones, but it's still really cringe. I know that if I was in the crowd, I would be laughing my fucking ass off. Cool, you can dance, but there's places where you can dance, and the fact that there's people just trying to walk by. Have a little self-awareness. That's all we need. Come on, dog. Once again, it's not the worst video I've ever seen. Some people need to read the room, and, and for some reason, people like self-awareness so much in 2022. <laughs> Oh yeah, he definitely wants a white girl. He's like, I want to fuck her. <laughs> Man, this ain't a club. Or maybe I'm just too perverted, honestly. But holy shit, this next video will make you cringe to the point where you might want to commit suicide. Just saying. She titled this video, Walking Down the Street, People's Reactions. So this woman thinks she's the hot shit and everyone's in love with her. They're not even looking at her. Like, the guy was looking at the fucking camera. Because if I was walking by and I saw a girl, and then behind her was this fucking guy with an iPhone recording her, I would be looking at the guy. I'd be like, yo, what's going on here? She really thinks everyone's looking at her. What people are thinking is, why is this guy filming this random girl? They're not thinking, yo, she's such an iconic bitch and legend and just the way she walks this it's making me feel things down in my fucking pants they're not thinking that all they're thinking about is why the fuck is this random ass dude filming this girl let's just go to the next video kamehameha teleportation Well, that is the end of my life. I will now jump off my building. There's nothing wrong with liking anime. There's nothing wrong with liking Dragon Ball C or Naruto or whatever other shows. As someone who's a very, 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 very casual anime enjoyer, and I only watch Naruto and some Dragon Ball C, that's all I know, okay? As someone who's dipped his toast into that, I do not like to say, and I will never say publicly or to anyone unless we're really close, that I like anime. Because when I hear people say, I like anime and I love this, this, and that, sadly, I think of people like this. Man! Who are annoying, obnoxious, weirdos, and I know not everyone's like that. I know most of them are normal people who just like to watch it, and that's awesome, and I support that 1000%. But some people, and I'm guilty, have this perspective that anime, that the average anime enjoyer looks like this and acts like this, when that's really not the case. There are some weirdos, but there's weirdos in every fandom, to be honest. So this is why I never admit to liking anime in public, because it's embarrassing, and I'm gonna get bullied, but I know I'm going to get stereotyped as a guy who's a fucking weirdo, who probably smells like piss 24 seven and who drinks his own cum and piss. Sadly, anime people have gotten this reputation of being fucking weirdos because of people like the guy we just took a look at. But that's just my two cents. That's just what I think. That is why you'll never catch me admitting to liking anime. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you, love you. And if you're new, please subscribe. I will really appreciate it. We're trying to end the year with 400,000 subscribers. I will be sick and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video, right? Peace out.